Hello guys, I'm Azar and in this video I'll show you how to make your own digital clock along with temperature sensor uh, which will show you the temperature. So for this I am using here Arduino Mega. You can use Arduino Uno or Arduino Nano also. And we have a real time clock DS3231 here. And this clock comes with the temperature sensor also. And for this, I'm using here a uh, 20 by 4 LCD and a breadboard, and of course, some uh, jumper wires. So I'll give the link for the schematic in the description. So, let's connect our LCD to the breadboard here. And the LCD, you can see here some pins VSS, VDD, V0, RS. RW, E, D0, D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6, D7, and A. So for this, I'm uh, connecting here some jumper wires. The first one, which is the VSS, will be connected to the ground. So I'm here. Supplying uh, 5 volts and ground to these pins here now by using the, these jumper wires. So, this is the ground and this is the 5 volts, right? So, the red one is the 5 volt and the orange one is the ground. So, I'll connect the 5 volts pin here and the ground pin here. Okay, okay, so I'll connect the brown one which is the ground to the ground and the red one which is the 5 volt to the 5 volts after that we have the third pin so the third pin can directly be connected to the ground and it can also be connected to the potentiometer which, which will control the cons contrast of this LCD so I'm here connecting directly to the ground so after that we have a pin 4 RS. So I will connect this RS to pin 12 of the Arduino. Here we have uh, 8, 9, 10, 11 and this 12. Okay. And after that we have pin 5. Pin 5 will be connected to ground. And pin 6 will be connected to pin 11 here okay and after that we have the d0 d1 d2 d3 we will leave these pins we will not connect them we will connect the d4 here d5 d6 and d7 so this is d0 d1 d2 d3 and this d4 i'll connect the d4 pin to pin 5 of the arduino here okay and the pin d5 and d6 to pin 4 and 3 respectively okay and after that, I will connect the D7 here to pin 2. Okay, and after that, we have the two pins for um, LEDs. So I am here using blue for positive. It will be connected to 5 volts. And the other one will be connected to ground. Right? So our LCD is now connected to our Arduino. So after this we have this um, RTC module DS3231 it has uh, these pins ground VCC SDA SCL SQW and 32K so we will use only these four pins which are ground VCC SDA and SCL right so for this I am using these uh, male to female jumper wires right and this black one is our ground. I'll connect it to ground and I'll connect the other one to 
the VCC right it is connected now we have these two pins the SCA and the SCL so I'll connect the SCA to SCF the Arduino here we have these two pins SCA and uh, SDA and SCL so here our SDA is the white pin so I'll connect it here and the SCL is the is this one right so now our connections are done so let's upload our code to our Arduino now so now let's connect our Arduino to lab Arduino is connected and here we have the code for this so in this code we have included a library for our RTC uh, DS3231 I will give the link for this library in the description and we have included the liquid pastel library of that we have specified the pins for the RTC module here and here these are the pins for the LCD module after that we have uh, initialized the uh, real time module and after that initialized the LCD module as here what the LCD is 20 by 4 so I have written 20 comma 4 here and after that we have these lines these lines are for setting the date and time uh, of our uh, RTC module so here we have these lines I will uncomment them right and here we have set the day DOW means day of week to Sunday as uh, today is Sunday and we have the time uh, we'll have to give the time and 24 hours format so now the time is uh, 305 so it is 15 and here I will write 06 as it will take time a little bit and after that we have uh, the date here and after that we have the introduction and we have the word loop here and the word loop we have will print in the first row the time uh, this is used to get the time from the module and after that we will print in the second row the day and in the third row the date and in and the fourth row we will print the temperature so let's update the time here again it is a uh, 30630 so i will write here 40 or 45 right and let's wait for this let's upload it now code is uploaded now on the time and the rtc module is set now what will we do we will comment these lines Sorry. right we have commented them it is because that whenever uh, we up start our Arduino uh, in this uh, in the previous code the RTC module will set the time again to the time specified here so for this we have first set the time to, to our uh, uh, RTC module and then we will comment these lines and upload the code again so the code is uploaded and the RTC module will now keep the time when the Arduino is off or on or the module is on or off it will keep the time as it have this battery over here as you can see this battery will keep the time so now let's see so here this is our LCD uh, the time is 15.08 day is Sunday and the date is 4.05 and 2020 means that 5th April 2020 and the temperature here is 26.25 degrees C so now let me show you how it keeps time I will disconnect it from here right and after some time like uh, two to three minutes I will connect it again to a power bank not with the laptop and you will see the time again so I am here after three minutes I have this uh, power bank over here and now I will connect uh, my Arduino to this power bank 
and you can see our clock is started and here as we left on uh, 15 08 and now it is 15 12 and the module here has kept its time due to its battery so here the uh, the advantage of this module is that it keeps the time and the arduino we also have a clock but uh, when the arduino is turned off and then turned on it loses its time so for this we use this rtc module and uh, it uh, the temperature here is 24.75 degrees because uh, of uh, blowing wind here so it was all about this i'll upload the code and uh, library link along with the schematic and the description below and now if you like this video so hit the like button and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video and also share my videos with your friends on whatsapp facebook or other social media platforms thank you